What is up, my brothers from another mother? You're going to have to forgive my voice in this video. It's slightly returning after a few days with a flu. So I got a reach request here that I want to dive right into. This one came from a guy in Italy, Anonymous. He says, Dear Richard, I'm here to ask you for your wisdom. I'm a 28-year-old Italian man trying to start over life after a fierce battle against cancer that took away many years of my life. After finishing high school at the age of 19, I was a young promise. I was so confident in myself to the point where I even believed that I would have left a mark on the world. Everybody needs to put a dent in the universe. I think everybody should work on something that leaves a little dent, a little mark on the world, a little dent in the universe, if you will. Anyway, it goes on to say, I went to college trying to pursue an economics degree while improving my language skills. I currently speak five languages thanks to my great passion for linguistics and language learning. Unfortunately, at age 22, my body betrayed me from what from that it was an endless downward spiral from one doctor to another, surgeries, heavy cycles of chemo, hormones, radiotherapy. And if that wasn't enough, I even had additional body complications that made the treatment even more tedious and longer. So cancer treatment. You know, um, this is this is kind of as a, a side or a side note, but um, anybody that might be kind of entering this phase, um, I always encourage them to take a look at alternative treatment cycles. I know that chemo is very hard on the body or radiotherapy, all the hormones they chuck into you. Um, I've seen people get pretty good results with uh, high dose vitamin C drips in an IV. Uh, they usually drop about, a, a, I think it's 100,000 milligrams a day. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of an aside. I just wanted to mention that because I know chemo is brutal on people. Anyway, it goes on to say, and if that wasn't enough, I had additional body comps, uh, treatment more tedious, longer. I almost felt like I was part of a very dark comedy. And I can't deny that the more, more than once I contemplated suicide. Now at 28, after the end of this battle, I really desire to get back on my life, uh, get my life back on track, despite feeling incredibly old. I would really like to start to finish a business degree. Should I do it? Do you think I still have a chance to become a successful man if I really desire it? Where should I start? Um, all right, let's deal with the where should I start right now because of your mindset. You know, let me give you a good resource. Um, I think where you are right now, um, here, grab this book. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Um, grab the audio book or, or read it if you want. I think the audio book's handled more as an interview, if I recall. But um, you need to disconnect from all the shit in your past. Everything that you felt was an anchor holding you back, the chemo, the treatment, everything that you felt um, basically derailed you from life. I know you feel old right now. <laughs> I feel old today after dealing with the stupid flu for the last few days. So I'm not, I'm not trying to relate in that sense, but I know what you mean, right? Um, you've got to master your, your body self care going forward. Um, you know, make sure you're on top of nutrition and exercise and all those sorts of things. Cause you really can't be that impactful or that useful to yourself or the world or your family. If you're, not in optimal physical condition, right? So that's that's something that you definitely want to consider working on immediately. Uh, you also need to get the the past out of your mind, everything that you felt was holding you back. So those are the two big things. Let me go back here to your questions because you asked a few here. Do you still have a chance? Absolutely. Do you think that you should go back to business school to finish a degree? I don't have a very high opinion of post-secondary education post-secondary education, um, the way that the systems work. I mean, if you're getting into STEM degrees, science, technology, engineering, maths, uh, there's value in that. Um, just make sure you're not pursuing a useless degree that isn't going to provide much value to you out in the real world. Um, I'm a big advocate of entrepreneurship and creating your own business. Um, that takes a, I mean, that's a different conversation entirely. So let's just set that aside. But um, going back to school, if you're going to do it, focus on degree or work that's going to benefit you in the STEM fields. Um, depending on what business accolades you're pursuing, they may or not be useful, may or may not be useful. Um, the other thing that I'd caution you to, which I think you mentioned here, was something to do with language skills. Speak five. Now, I understand you have uh, five languages that you speak and you have a great passion for linguistics and language learning. Um, my See, I have a different lens in which I view that, and this is going to be counter to your passion. So just take it with a grain of salt. Um, knowing five languages to me has no use whatsoever. Um, most people in the world speak English. If I'm doing any kind of business internationally, I mean, I get it. It makes sense if you're doing business in China and maybe Latin America and you need to learn Mandarin and Spanish. That would make sense to me. 
Uh, but throwing a lot of time and resources at learning different languages for the sake of knowing languages, I think that's more of an artistic hobby, more of like a passion pursuit in that sense versus something that's going to have a real world application. You only have 24 hours in a day. You only have so much energy that you can allocate. I've talked in my videos before about managing your fucks, AKA energy. You should only dispense your energy, AKA fucks to things that are truly fuck worthy. So if, if you deem it worth your energy, time, and resources and money, of course, then pursue it. Um, but there has to be a payoff. I always look at the ROI. Is there an R ROI in what I'm putting my time, money, and efforts into? If the ROI doesn't exist or it doesn't become evident to me quickly, then I stop throwing time and resources at it. That's the lens in which I use to evaluate those sort of conversations. So I understand that you're just healing your body uh, and you're coming back in your own. You feel like you've been um, you know, put through the ringer. I know that chemo does that to people, but uh, Work on yourself, work on self-care, pick up heavy shit, put it down, um, focus on ROI. Don't get distracted with things that aren't going to let you put a dent in the universe. I mean, you mentioned that uh, you felt like you wanted to leave your mark in the world or, or, you, or you truly believe that you were going to leave a mark on the world. Well, now that, now that you've gone, gone past the chemo, again, read The Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle, it'll help you bring yourself into the power of today, right now, and let all that old shit go. If you truly want to leave a dent in the universe, make sure that you're paying attention to or attentive to the ROI and where you're putting your time, effort, and resources. And my friend, you will do it. There's, I mean, at 28, you're still a very young man. Granted, your body's been beat up a little bit. There's a lot of very successful guys out there that left their mark on the world at a much older age. Uh, Ray Kroc, great example. There's actually a kind of a documentary movie on Netflix right now. I can't remember what it's called, but you can look it up. Um, it's got Michael Keaton as a star. It's pretty, actually a pretty good movie. Uh, Ray Kroc was in his 50s. I think he was in his mid to late 50s when he uh, really got McDonald's off the ground. So don't let being 28 post-cancer with a weak body discourage you. Put the time effort into it, and I promise you, you'll do well. Uh, thank you for your reach requests, supporting the creation of the work on the channel. I really appreciate it. If anybody else wants to reach out to me, it's just reach.me forward slash Richard Cooper. You can submit your request there and I will record a video for you. There's also uh, the private Patreon community, so don't forget that's where I upload all my premium content and you get access to the private Facebook group, live Q and A's with me monthly and some other exclusive stuff, which doesn't end up on the channel because it just can't be there because it's not as politically correct as it should be. So thanks again for watching this. I hope my croaky voice didn't bother you too much today. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.